Suppose we have a collection with duplicate elements, but we only want to process distinct elements. How do we do that in stream? Now there are couple of ways. One way could be to change the source collection to a set so that it does not insert the duplicates. Now just for, just assume that just for the sake of discussion, let's say we we for some reason we cannot change the source collection. We cannot change it to the set. Then we can say that we can create another set. We can put all the elements from one collection to the set to avoid the duplicates. That is a possible solution. But problem with that is it requires an additional storage, a temporary storage just to avoid the duplicates. Now, the good thing is if we are using stream API, then there is a better way to avoid duplicates and to just process the distinct elements. Stream has a method distinct. We can simply call distinct and that's it. So it says that you get the stream from the collection, then make sure that you don't process the duplicates. What distinct will do, it will simply select the distinct elements from the stream for further processing. So let's say we here we added a duplicate movie with ID 1 and all the details are same. So the expectation is that we should see only three movies on the console, not the fourth one because it's a duplicate. So let's run the code. But here we see all the four movies on the console. We used the distinct method, but it's not working. What could be the problem? The problem here is that distinct method uses object dot equals for the comparison. To compare two objects, the to, com to check the equality, it uses the default object dot equals method. And this default object dot equals method does not have the custom custom checks that we want. So for example, we only want to check the IDs. If IDs are equal, then treat them as a duplicate. So that is something missing that is something that we need to change and then only the distinct can work properly as per our expectation. So here in the movie record, because movie is simply a record, we need to override the equals method. So let's do that. We are overriding the equals method and for now let's focus on the id attribute only. We are not interested in other attributes. We simply want to check the equality on the basis of id. If two movie objects have the same id then only consider them as a duplicate otherwise it's fine. So with the help of ide we, we created the equals method and the hash code method although for this example, we only need the equals method. So equals, what equals method will do? It will compare two movie objects based on the ID. So it says that if the ID of two movie objects is equal, then they are duplicate. All right. Now what we did, we simply, uh, we simply coded these methods. There is no change in the pipeline, but now if we run the program, we see that the duplicate has been removed because when the stream will compare two movie objects, it will check the IDs of both the objects. And in this case, the IDs of these two objects or these two movies is exactly the same. So it will treat them as duplicate and it will keep only one movie from that stream uh, as an for the further processing. All right. So that's how we use distinct to avoid the duplicates. That's it for now. Thank you. Suppose we have a collection and a stream out of that collection. And now we want to process the elements in an order in this sorted order. How do we apply this sorting using streams? So here in this example, we have three movies. And if you notice the order of IDs, then it is two, three and one. But we want them to be in the order of one, two and three. How do we apply the sorting? Stream API has a method which is simply sorted. So there are two, two overloaded sorted methods. The one which doesn't accept anything, it considers the natural ordering. And one accepts the comparator. So we can uh, compare on some custom attributes. So let's use the default one. And we what what we are trying to do is the intent is to sort the movies in their natural order. 
so let's see if it works here we see there is an exception it says that it cannot be cast to comparable now the thing is when we use the default sorted method it it means that we are trying to use the natural ordering and for the natural ordering the target class must implement the comparable interface but in this case the movie which is a record it doesn't implement the comparable interface so it doesn't know how to compare two movie objects which is a which is a condition a required condition for the sorting if it can't compare then it it doesn't know anything about the order all right so let's try to do that let's try to implement the comparable and we'll implement the missing method which is compare to for now we simply say that it returns zero so we are not doing anything in the compare to method but now we are implementing the comparable interface so if we run the same code again we see that this time there is no exception although the sorting is not working properly because the comparison is not correct the implementation of compare to is not doing anything related to the correct comparison but what we need to understand is if we are using the natural order then make sure that the target class implements the comparable and it has a valid implementation of compare to method so we can remove that for now uh and this time let's try to use the second version of method that accepts the comparator so the thing is if we implement the comparable method then we can define the natural order of a class with the help of comparators we can provide custom custom ordering or the sorting or the ordering on custom attributes something else uh, different from the natural ordering okay so let's say uh, the natural ordering of the movie object was based on the ids but this time we want to sort them based on the title how do we do that we will have to pass a comparator that can compare two objects on the basis of their titles so we if we see there are many methods related to the comparator comparator dot comparing int comparator dot comparing comparing double null says first so we'll have a separate video on the comparators for now let's simply call the comparing that can compare two objects in general and if we notice this requires a function let's try to see what it does so we implement the apply so it will accept the movie object and whatever value will we return from the function that will be used to compare two objects now we can use a method reference here or a lambda let's pass it a value we say that we simply want to compare on the title based on the title and now if we run the code we see the movies based on the title so l comes first then m and then t okay so we did some kind of sorting let me recap thing when we are using the different version of sorted which accepts a comparator then we pass an implementation of the comparator with a custom comparison and whatever comparator we pass that will be used to compare two objects or the objects from that stream and here we are saying that we want to compare movies on the basis of their titles so we pass the method reference movie colon colon title and now the title of a movie will be used for the comparison all right now let's say that we want to uh, compare the same thing but this time with id so what we can do we can simply change this title to id and let's try to run the same thing again and this time we see the movies in the order of their type id 1 2 and 3 so we are using comparator dot comparing then we are passing the something some some value to this comparing that will return a comparator but in this case it's it's an integer so if you see the id is an integer property 
now as usual there is ample support for primitives so instead of comparing what we can do we can use the primitive specialization comparing int and we pass the same thing to avoid the overhead of boxing and unboxing so we pass the same thing id which is an integer to comparing int now it will return a comparator and the same thing all over again so if we run the code now we won't see any difference the only difference is we are now using the primitive specialization of the comparator so that's how we use sorted methods on the stream that's how we sort uh, the items in the stream all right that's it for now thank you